Hi, I'm Claire and this is the first part of my gigantic book haul for September. I received a lot of books from publishers this month, which is really, really exciting. The first thing that I want to show you is The Family Plot by Cherie Priest. This is a new release from Tor Books and it is a ghost story set in this beautiful southern gothic mansion where well, a lot of ghostly shenanigans are going down. I have a full review of this book already up on the channel, including a giveaway which should still be active when this video comes out, so go check that out if you want to know more about The Family Plot by Cherie Priest. Next, I received a few books from the lovely people at Orbit Books, who I met at Nine Worlds, so I am now on their list, which is so exciting because they publish a lot of books that I really really enjoy. The first book that Orbit sent me was The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin, which is the second book in the Broken Earth series and the sequel to last year's The Fifth Season, which won the Hugo Award for Best Novel. I was pretty excited to receive a review copy of this because I quite enjoyed The Fifth Season. I liked this book too. I felt that it wasn't quite as impressive as The Fifth Season because there is just a twist uh, within that book, the fifth season, that is just so impressive and so well done that um, I think there was no way that the Obelisk Gate could um, quite equal that, the surprise of that, the kind of uh, that moment where you go back in your head and see all the things that you've missed. Like the fifth season, it is quite brutal and it's also um, just difficult. It's a very smart book. I did quite enjoy it, but I found the reading experience a little bit challenging, if only because we are used to the idea that a page turner or something you read super quickly is the mark of a good book, whereas for me to enjoy this book I really had to take it slowly. And I don't think that's at all a bad thing, I just had to keep reminding myself that it wasn't a bad thing when I was reading it. The next book I received from Orbit was The Girl with All the Gift by M.R. Carey, and this is a movie tie-in copy, because the film of The Girl with All the Gifts just came out and uh, I had a chance to go and see it recently at the BFI. I really, really enjoyed the movie and I want to do a video about just the book and the movie uh, compared with one another and how they stack up and everything. But this is a uh, book about Melanie, who is a little girl with a bit of a strange experience growing up. I think it's quite obvious uh, now from the marketing around the film that this is a zombie story and I love zombie stories. I don't think they're overdone. I don't care what people say. I will fight you. Zombies are the hill that I will die on. But if you're tired of zombie stories, let me tell you this is a bit of a fresh take. I've got a full review of this book up on the channel that I did when I first read it way way back in 2015. If you're interested go check it out because it's uh, much more coherent than I can be right now flailing about how good the movie was and do enjoy that vintage look uh, that my channel had before I owned this beautiful beautiful camera. <laughs> The last book that I received from Orbit was this one, The Path of the Hawk by Ian Graham, and this one uh, looks like it's a epic fantasy. The Hawks are the Pilgrim Church's elite regiment, soldiers entrusted with missions far beyond the scope of the conventional army. Blessed Master Heligrain, one of the church's highest ranking and most beloved holy men, was abducted one year ago, his corpse found rotting in a river. When evidence emerges that Heligrain is still alive and being held against his will, three hawks are dispatched to bring him home. But Heligrain's past and present are not what they seem, and two nations are drawn into a conflict whose seeds were sown millennia ago. And it also says here that the path of the hawk is Ian Graham's big return to epic fantasy, 15 years since writing his grimdark classic Monument. Now I tend to read my epic fantasy, particularly books of this size, as audiobooks, uh, just because this is a bit big to be carrying around uh, in your bag, but it does sound like a pretty cool story, so uh, that is The Path of the Hawk, and it is now out from orbit. And finally for this video I have three books that I purchased for myself when I went to Waterstones recently. 
First is A Star Wars Aftermath by Chuck Wendig. This is the first book in the kind of new Star Wars canon that's being uh, released or that was being released just before Fourth Awaken came out and I've been wanting to read it for a while but the hardback was really expensive so I waited until the paperback was out uh, and this is now on my list to read. Next I've got The Murdstone Trilogy by Mal Pete and this is one that I've absolutely never heard about. I picked it out of the shelf because I really enjoyed the colours on the spine and then the cover really intrigued me. The fact that it's called a trilogy and it's clearly just one book and then this cover with kind of writing uh, superimposed on it that you can only kind of see when you wiggle the book like this. I'm sure it has a technical name and I don't know it. The book is about Philip Murdston, who is a writer writing contemporary YA about sensitive boys that is just not selling at all and his agent tells him to start writing fantasy and he doesn't want to uh, and as you can see from the cover he's just not happy about his life which you know is something that a lot of people who do writing can kind of relate that kind of down in the dumps feeling when you can't write anything. But the thing that kicks off the story is apparently that Philip starts meeting strange creatures from weird other realms which you know just sounds like it would be good fun. It, it just sounds like it would be funny. Finally I've got Cogheart by Peter Bunzel. I got down to the till with my two other books and there was a giant wall of this book next to the till and I was in line so I looked at it and it looks so cute. It's a uh, clearly kind of young adult steampunky thing so I picked it up. It says in the back Lily's life is in mortal peril, her father is missing, silver-eyed men stalk her through the shadows, with her friend Robert, the clockmaker's son, and Malkin, her mechanical fox. She has a mechanical fox, so I bought the book. There's more, but all I care about is she has a mechanical fox, so I bought the book. I think that's a sensible purchasing decision to have made. So that's it for part one of this book haul but there will definitely be more because I have another pile of books right there to uh, tell you about so I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about those books if you've read any of them if any of them particularly tickle your fancy. If you'd like to see more from me you can check the sidebar right here for more videos and if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button for new videos from me every week. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching and see you soon.